Cooperstown. It's a place that's pure Americana, a one-stop light town nestled between the Adirondack and Catskill Mountains in central New York. Its name comes from the family of James Fenimore Cooper, a standard bearer in American literature. So perhaps it's fitting that Cooperstown has become synonymous with another American standard, baseball, thanks to a story about a Civil War general and our country's enduring love for a timeless game. By the beginning of the 20th century, baseball was already well known as the national pastime. The United States was a little more than 125 years old, and baseball had evolved with the country. But no one knew how the game had started. Enter A.G. Spaulding, sporting goods magnate and former Major League Baseball player, who was eager to determine the genesis of baseball. He created a blue ribbon panel to look into the matter, and after a few years of searching, the commission found its answer, or at least an answer. It came from Abner Graves, a mining engineer and Cooperstown native, who proclaimed that Abner Doubleday, later a general in the Union Army who served at both Fort Sumter and at Gettysburg, invented baseball in 1839 in Cooperstown. That account was good enough for the members of the commission, which published its conclusion in 1907. Nearly three decades later, Stephen C. Clark, seeking to promote and celebrate the national pastime, as well as create an economic engine for his hometown, asked National League President Ford Frick if he would support the establishment of a Baseball Hall of Fame in Cooperstown. The idea was welcomed, and in 1936, Ty Cobb, Walter Johnson, Christy Mathewson, Babe Ruth, and Hannes Wagner were elected as the inaugural class of the Baseball Hall of Fame. Three years later, on June 12, 1939, the Hall of Fame building was officially dedicated and the first induction ceremony was held. To mark the occasion, Time Magazine wrote, the world will little note nor long remember what Doubleday did at Gettysburg, but it can never forget what he did at Cooperstown. Well, scholarship now shows that baseball was not invented by Abner Doubleday at all but developed from a number of bat and ball games in the 18th and 19th centuries. However, the original Doubleday myth forged an immutable link between baseball and Cooperstown, a link so strong that this tiny village is now and forever known as the spiritual home of our national pastime. And today, the National Baseball Hall of Fame and Museum thrives as a shrine to the national pastime in the town where baseball's pulse still beats the strongest. <laughs>